Hey, what's up? My name is Seb de la Web, and today I'm launching the promo pack uh, for the Flatsome team. I'm very excited because Black Friday is almost there. So I created a bunch of great banner designs to promote your Black Friday or maybe another promotion, holiday offers. Um, for the moment, you can download this for free on Seb de la Web until Black Friday. Uh, so make sure to go to Seb de la Web where you can find the promo pack. And again, for now, it's available to download for free. But after the Black Friday, it's $49. Uh, so it's really a great way to make sure that people can really see you're offering uh, great discounts at the moment. In this short video, I'm going to quickly show you how to integrate this into your project and make use of it uh, the best as possible. I'm going to make use of one of our pre-made designs, uh, Tempo. And once you've purchased, well, you don't need to purchase now, but once you downloaded it for free, you will get access to the template file section where you can find this video, of course. Um, I created a small uh, piece of CSS to uh, customize it. And there's an import XML file that will import all the UX blocks because from the banner designs, I created UX blocks. Uh, so you can download them all at once. But if you want to integrate specific banners, you can also easily copy paste the short code and put it into your project. I'm going to show you both. So first of all, let's import the CSS inside our project, going to WordPress on the back end, going to Flatsum Advanced, and I'm going to the custom CSS section. And in this case, I'm going to import it at the all screens. And what I've done with this specific CSS is in the banner designs, as you can see, I'm making use with, uh, of a lot of these headlines. It looked like H1, H2, H3, but I didn't want to interfere with your SEO. Maybe you have created great landing pages, optimized for a search engine optimization, uh, and I don't want it to interfere, but I still wanted to have this big headline. So what I've done in the CSS is I set a custom class. And at the moment, I'm referring to the font family man rope. Uh, but you need to find your own uh, font family. Um, you need to see which kind of headline you are using. If you are making use of the Flatsum option where you can set the um, Google font, just go to uh, the Flatsum theme options like I did before. And then check out which uh, font you are using for the headline. In this case, I'm using Roboto with the variant 700, meaning the thickness of the font. So I'm going to uh, um, put that in. So Roboto, make sure to use the capital. And then it was set to 700. And now I have a custom class for the headlines. Also, I'm making use of taglines. And I'm also going to show you how that looks. I'm going to open up my promo pack so you can really see. Uh, no, that's not the link. So here you can see, and the tagline is very difficult. Here there's a little text on top of it. It's all uppercase with a little bit of extra letter spacing. Makes it really nice to create a kind of a tagline above your headline. So it's all been done for you, uh, but just make sure you also for the tagline put in the right uh, font. So I'm going to put in Roboto, and I think 700 also makes sense for the thickness for the tagline. Then we have the collapse class. Uh, I'm going to show you in a, in a moment. And I created a custom CSS for some image box styling. You don't need to change this. It's just, I don't like the, the text shadow on top of image boxes. I don't like the margin that is underneath every button that is in the image box element. And I don't like the borders that's around the buttons inside box text elements. So, you don't need to look at this, only look uh, at these two and make sure to change the right font family. Uh, okay, so done. Let's save all changes. And now I'm going to import all the, um, all the files. So I'm going back to template files, I'm going to promo pack. I'm going to download the XML file. And then I'm going back to my project I'm going to Tools, Import, and here down below you can find the WordPress Run Importer. If you haven't downloaded it, you need to install the importer function, and that will install a plugin that you can delete later on. Uh, but now I'm, I already installed, so I can run the importer right away. 
I need to choose the XML file that I've just downloaded. And then I can upload file and import. Just make sure to assign this specific XML file to your user. Maybe sometimes you need to search, uh, but this is my main admin user. So I'm going to assign that to my user. You don't need to import file attachments uh, because I haven't included any images to keep your media library clean. And then I can just click on submit. And now it's done. You can go to UX blocks and there you can find all the promo pack banners that are available. I also want to mention that at the moment uh, there are about 13 or 14 uh, designs ready, but I'm going to uh, add on add designs along the way until Black Friday. So it's going to be much more uh, throughout uh, the upcoming time. So now again, the UX blocks are imported. I also created categories if it makes it easier for you. So I have banners, I have a call to action element and I have heroes. You can also find that in the uh, template file so you can see these are the banners, heroes, and this is the call to action element. And again, there will be more available by time. Uh, so now it's done. I did the two important steps. I imported the CSS and I imported all the files. So now I'm going to make use of it. So let me see how I can make use of it and really make sure that my visitors are seeing that we have a Black Friday deal. So let's say I want to replace this specific image with a Black Friday banner. So I'm going to open up the UX Builder. I'm going to delete this section. I'm going to import an element and I can search on block. And then I can select, uh, for example, the promo pack banner one or maybe the promo pack banner two. So now you can just, you know, play around, see what works, what doesn't work. Maybe you need to adjust a little bit of the height and a little bit of the specs to make sure it works in this specific layout. So you need to play around with this and see what really works. Uh, but it's very easy. And once you have done this, you can click on apply, update. Then you can close your UX builder. And then you can also modify this element by going hover the element, make sure you're logged in. And then you can see the tool tip. And then you can click on edit with UX builder. And then you can uh, change the specific element to your needs. Um, I wanted to explain the classes. So like I said, I created two classes. So the headline, make sure that these look like real headlines. So this is the specific class. And then I have the collapse. If I take that away, you can see there's a, a really a big of amount of spacing that I don't really like. So I always, as you can see, type in collapse. That is again referring. Let me see if I still have it. So I'm going back to just to quickly show you. So again, I have the headline and I have the tagline and I have the collapse. Um, yeah, that's, that's really an easy way to import the UX blocks inside your project. There's also a way, for example, to show a UX block on the shop archive page because these are widgets, of course. So I'm going back to my project. I will keep this open. Go to appearance widgets. And then here at the shop sidebar, I'm going to add in a Flatsome UX block. I'm going to open up Promo Pack Banner 3. And now when I refresh, you can see this Black Friday banner has been added. Uh, added to the shop page. So, done. And then last but not least, the easy way to make use of the functionality where you can just import a short code. So let's say for a big hero section, I want to import this hero for going back to my project, open up the UX builder. I click on add elements, click on import, paste it in. And now you can see the section is there. And then you have this big, huge promotion where you can again change the images, of course. And it looks like this image is on your server, but we have, we just linked to it. We didn't. Uh, uploaded this specific image in your library. So it's only available available on our server. It's good to know. All right, so quick introduction. Uh, I'm very curious what you can uh, make of this. Uh, hopefully this will really boost your uh, Black Friday sales. And uh, yeah, again, it's available for free now until Black Friday. And um, yeah, uh, again, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. 
and uh, see you after Black Friday. <laughs> bye bye.